this one just yet. Uh, kind of left the glasses at home, so it's going to be a lot of squinting. This is kind of what's going on with Storm Francis right now. Uh, there's been quite a lot of stormy activity, uh, not just parts of the UK, but also uh, everywhere else in the world. We've also had uh, Storm Marco and Laura, which has hit parts of the US as well. So there's a lot of activity going on. I uh, just thought I'd kind of just show you, uh, just have a little bit of a walk up and down the hill, just to see kind of what's been happening and the conditions of this surge that's uh, coming in. We'll uh, take a trip down there and have a good look. Nice to see no one's down there. Um, trying to get a little bit too close to get that selfie. All kind of waiting up there watching, which is good. Uh, given the last kind of few few events where we've had. Uh, A couple in here which yeah I wouldn't really agree on doing. Uh, that kind of makes me wonder why people up there were, were looking. It's gonna be quite funny to watch isn't it. I don't really want him getting a little bit too close to that to be fair whether you're uh, an experienced swimmer or not. Getting a little bit too close. Don't condone this at all. Let's go and have a close look. So yeah, swimmers, great, brilliant, amazing. There seems to be an ongoing thing with uh, with with swimmers. Um, one of which I've actually had a bit of a fall, not a fallen out with, but a bit of a discussion about kind of swimming in kind of sea conditions like this. Uh, kind of, a, you know, I appreciate that there are is what you call. Uh, just stupidity really um, you could be an experienced swimmer by all means that's absolutely fine but you don't know what the surge is underneath this and the rip currents um, whether, you're, whether you're a good swimmer or not uh, all it takes is for it to start taking you and that's it that's my personal opinion everyone you know is entitled to their opinions anyone's different uh, I just don't see the justification in kind of putting yourself at risk uh, especially when I've got quite a few close friends who are part of the uh, HM Coast Guard and RNLI as well. So kind of, you know, if anything did happen, it's kind of putting their lives at risk. Uh, and then the knock-on effect, obviously, with their families as well. Uh, but hey-ho. Clearly struggling. <laughs> whether they're trying to get back onto, uh, try, whether they're trying to get back into land uh, and... I don't really know. We'll look like lifeguards practicing. Uh, there's a swimming pool for that, mate. Not the sea. Why would you practice in these conditions? Come up with some sort of um, some sort of plan by the looks of it. Try to. <laughs> I think what's happening here. I could be completely wrong, uh, but I think they're trying to get to there. But what they're worried about is them getting caught up in the surge, which could potentially end up 
putting them into the side. I don't know. Um, like a, I'm, I'm not an expert. Here we go. Go on, go on, go on, boys. Go on, boys. Oh, no, they give up. What, are they waiting? This is what I don't want to happen, is them getting slammed into it. Absolutely ridiculous. We'll just uh, keep an eye on these, see what the, uh, see what the, <laughs> see what de develops from this. I'm hoping it isn't going to be uh, dramatic. Do apologise if you can't hear me too well either. Um, a little bit now. Well, I think they've given up on their plan A. I wonder if they're going to plan B, try and get on up on the, uh, trying to get up on the side of this maybe. Uh, for all those that have just joined, uh, we're on Plymouth Hoe. Watching some uh, a couple of swimmers. As you can see, like, <laughs> come on, that's really not good, is it? They probably think I'm so close, but so far. That's if their intentions are to to try and. Secure land. Just taking it back. See this ending in tears. Do they need help to get in? I, I don't know. I'm see, you can clearly see they are. Watch out, mate. Uh... Yeah, but the thing I, I'm not too sure because they don't look like they're in difficulty. If if they were, well, I'm just gonna have to make a corker around it sure that they are right and if they're not then I'm afraid what I'm gonna have to do is abort this I'm gonna have to abort this live stream if needs be in uh dial the coast guard which I'm hoping I wouldn't have to do but at the same time as so we do need to keep everyone safe uh, and if oh first one's up okay so maybe he's gonna give his mate out in hand no okay so he just dives back in brilliant He's just dived back in, so I clearly think that they're all right. Uh, uh, Steph, I don't really think the... I'm not overly worried, given the fact that many boys just got up and jumped back in. So uh, if they were that difficulty, they would certainly be... Yeah, he's just got back in his well, look. Yeah, I think they're just having a bit of fun, aren't they? Yeah, let them get on with it, yeah. That's what I think. <coughs> so, come back down here. 
there a little bit. No, let's, let's go for a walk. Let's have a look around the other side, shall we? Yeah, I think they're enjoying the swim. It's always one of those when you see a couple of swims, swimmers in weather like this, you can you can never really tell if they are all right or not. Yeah, that's, yeah, exactly, Helen. I'm just a bit wary of them. Uh, given the steps, you know, the, any of these currents kind of put them on there. It's going to be a bit of a hard impact. Um, let's go and have a look. Yeah, see, let he's up now. Let he'll jump back in now. Will he? No, it was a breather. He's taking a breather. What if we can go and have a word with him? That'd be quite good, wouldn't it? Not in a bad way, just... See what the conditions are like out there. Nice of you to check on them. I can't work out if that's being sarcastic or not. Um, I do have a little bit of uh, experience within the sea and kind of the search and rescue side of things after uh, my previous experiences. Uh, to me, they wasn't showing any really indication of stress uh, beforehand. Look at that. Oh, go on, mate. Whee, love it. They're yeah, just enjoying it. How is it, right? Oh, yeah, nice. Sorry? No, I'm not. I'd rather, I'd rather watch you. Make sure you two are right. I said, I'd rather make sure you two are right. You two. Make sure you're safe. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are live on UK Weather Chase. <laughs> they just asked, oh, don't send it to YouTube or the police or anything. No, you just, you're live on UK Weather Chase, I'm afraid. Sorry. Um, it's to be expected, really. I think anyone who's, who's going to be swimming in conditions like this, uh, <laughs> along with a storm there's going to be people bound to be recording it's going to be all over the place so i know it does sound a bit crazy but it does it does look quite appealing and i guess from a swimmer's perspective there's something different kind of uh swimming in conditions like this I, I, I guess it's not really the same as going down to your local swimming pool which is which has a wave machine um <laughs> that's crazy just crazy but they seem safe anyway uh i didn't really have any problems it wasn't until they tried getting up here uh that's where my worries slightly kind of come into play um after a while though and uh one of them jumping back in it was safe to say that actually they're all right. This is all good. Uh, anyone who's into their ships and warships, question for you. Can you tell me what this ship is? Everything else seems a bit normal, really. Uh, winds are starting to kind of die down now. Great, sun's out. However, I didn't bring my glasses, which I should have done. Schoolboy error. <laughs> Do you know what? There's always one. Barbara. Thank you. I would never have known. I thought it was a cruise ship. In fact, I thought it was the Queen's ship. Can 
up a fair bit there, isn't it? Nice. No, not the QE. Absolutely not. It's too small to be the QE. If that was a QE, it would be quadruple the size of that. Huge. Brittany Ferry with guns. <laughs> uh, yeah, can you imagine? No worries. Ah, there we go. So it is HMS Richmond. So I guess they specialise in sausages then, I guess. Dan, maybe? Do they not? I don't know. <laughs> Those that don't get it, Richmond sausages. Yeah? No? Ugh, I give up. Um, right. Let's done with this part. Let's go and have another look around, see what else is kicking up. Let's see what else we can uh, see what else we can find. HMS cut his choice. <laughs> so Adam Clark is a very good friend of mine. And I think that that ship out there is HMS Aripota. That's what I think. And they don't use guns on it, no. They use spells and tricks. Spells and tricks for HMS Hardy Bodda. Uh, currently out of the Plum Sound. <laughs> so we're going to leave these swimmers to it. We're all just going to kind of wave them. Bye. See you later. See you later. We'll come back and check on them in a, in a short while. Uh, they seem to be alright for a minute. Oh, now the stairs. Oh, the swimmers are still there. They're still swimming. There they are, that. Little deers. Deer of them. Yeah, so we're going to have a look around, see what else we can see, and then we will come back. Uh, met Forecast, hello mate. Um, great work behind the scenes as to what you do with all the forecasting uh, uh, throughout, this, throughout this season. Um, been very helpful indeed. So anyone uh, that hasn't seen, which you probably have, I uh, share quite a bit of Met Forecast's um, risks and maps. Uh, I'd say get yourself over to them if you want to have a little bit more of a detail on the risk zones uh, in your area. No, funny enough, the sea conditions aren't as bad as what I thought they were. Um, I've seen worse down here, a lot worse. Um, yes. Karen Gray, you love sus you love your sausages. Oh. <laughs> Come on, you remember we've got children watching potentially. Can't be having that. Funny. They won't know. They won't have sausage. Cumberland's my favourite. Yeah, I really do. Uh, I, I for my um, for my time, kind of chasing. Uh, though I kind of look at my own predictions, I always kind of cross references, uh, you know, with likes of yourself, effective weather, uh, just to kind of see whereabouts I am and the knowledge of myself and so on. And it's really helpful to kind of um, be able to look at yours and learn from it as well. Uh, so no, I appreciate it. I really do. Oh no, my goodness. Yeah, uh, it's quite funny you say that because um, I was looking at that video kindly uh, was part of a couple of years ago and um, I meant to get in contact with you actually uh, to see if there's any way or if you'd be happy for me to, to use it again. Yeah that's interesting here. What bird is that? 
What bird is that? Any bird watchers out there? What is it? It's gone under the water. Nobody's hiding from me, isn't he? Yeah, I've still got the video. Um, I think it's still on YouTube somewhere on, on my old page. I'll have to dig it out. It is somewhere. not a duck. It's too, wingspan's too big to be a duck. Right, bear with me because it is slightly windy here. I'm going to try and get out of it. If you've got it, send it to me. Yeah, no, I'll send it over. I'll um, let you have a look at it. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Right, where do we go? 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 Some trees. No, not pretty much happening. Where do we go? 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 Oi! Hello, mate! Christ, they took my head off then! Let's have a look down there, shall we? Yeah, I think those swimmers are going to have a bit of a uh, heart attack when they, uh, if they come across this video. <laughs> Don't put it on YouTube. Don't tell the police. Don't tell the Coast Guard. Sorry, mate, you're live on UK Weather Chase. I'm afraid that is not possible. Let's have a look down this part, shall we? Well, for starters, there's no swimmers, so that's a good sign. It's a great sign. It probably costs about 450 for a Mr. Whippy down here. I could go little and buy a pack of four orange lemon flavoured lollies for about a quid. A rip off. Okay, so this is very dramatic. It's not really. Uh, yeah, it's all. It's all quite mild conditions. Well, it's in mild. It's quite average conditions, really. Um, a few years ago, well, I'm talking more than a few years ago, when we had a massive storm, uh, storm surge, completely wiped out the wet walk uh, and the whole of that side, really. Uh, very dramatic and such a shame at that time. Um, yeah. I can't remember what storm that was. Was it St. Jude's? I have a feeling it might have been St. Jude's. I think I've got some footage of it, actually. Um, but I'm trying to gather all the footage and, and uh, all the contents that I've got, uh, which will eventually, as time goes on, be on the YouTube channel, which I've literally just got around to setting up. Uh, to those that didn't know that, get yourself uh, onto the YouTube UK Weather Chase. Hit subscribe. There's lots of different things on there, and more things are going to be coming up. We're uh, going to be doing kind of like educational things to children, uh, with a few parents kind of asking uh, and and kind of advising me that uh, you know kids are watching it as well, which is great. Uh, tutorials uh, about that. I meant to do uh, the tutorial on photography. I'm still looking at doing that, I just literally haven't had the time to do it. Um, also kind of chasing the behind the scenes uh, before kind of chasing and chasing as well. So I'm going to look at doing quite a few tutorials, which I will bring live, but also they can be watchable after the live streams on Facebook, on the YouTube. So there's lots of different things that's uh, kind of happening. Uh, obviously linking up with the Plymouth Hypnotherapist, uh, which again, if you haven't seen 
uh, anything about that if you get over to the post that I put up yesterday which is quite a long one uh, you'll be able to kind of find out a little bit more information on that too so everything here is all right um, Go fishing. Yeah, I would have had a fishing rod. I've been fishing for years. I wouldn't even know what's in there. I know mackerel's around. There's quite a few pouting, bass. I don't know, bass maybe. Uh, we always pick activities which you've got to be patient with. Uh, you know, with the uh, with the fishing, it's all about patience. Uh, stand on top of a hill, waiting for jets to pass through. It's patience. Storm chasing. It's patience. I'm trying to think of what would be my next activity. Um, be a bit of a hard one, really. I don't know what should I do next. Something that's not. Patient related. So let's go down here and then who fancies going back down to the swimmers and checking up? Oh, hello. Didn't see that. <laughs> yeah, all that. I'll tell you what though, the sun's coming out. It is hot. I've got like three layers on. I've also got my coat. Waterproof as well. And now I've got my other one. It's boiling. Didn't even, I didn't get anything of it. Nice to see the sun coming out though. Don't know what the conditions are for later on. I'll need to double check them. Obviously we've got all this kind of passing over. Uh, we're just kind of kicked up about one, two, maybe. Ah, uh, gone. Nearly had him. Sorry, I need a shotgun attached to the phone. No, shouldn't say that. Sorry, shouldn't say that. Right, let's go check on these swimmers, make sure they're in there. See so what's going on. Look hot, too much on. Oh, I am, mate. It's all these stairs, look at them all. God, I didn't come in for exercise. Then again, I've done my daily exercise, haven't I? Anyway, that had any on it. They're all well, safe, I think. Playing around. Go on, mate. Ah, uh, he bowled it. Glassy today. Very glassy. Should have been in Parent Pool for last night. We're staying in a tent and there was broken tents everywhere. Absolute carnage. Most people packed up and went as all tent were broken. Yeah, Paul, I don't uh I don't blame him to be fair. 
Uh, my sister's actually done a parent pool for herself. Luckily, she's in a caravan. Uh, but as a big brother, I've non stopped uh, constantly telling her, do not go anywhere near that coast. She is only 15. Um, you know what kids are like, they get a little bit adventurous. Uh, but I know she wouldn't do anything like that. But yeah, I do know that Parent Paul uh, did have a... <laughs> No, I, mean, I don't think they're trying to get out. I think they're just having a bit of fun. Uh, like this guy just keeps jumping in. Ready? Ready? Is he going to jump in? No, let's give up. Five minutes? must have some strength to be in there uh, for this amount of time, um, especially with the rip currents as well. God, I can do it. I'll end up having another Numa Forex. So one great big play area for them, isn't it? Now let's try and get up on this one. I don't know. I don't know if they would be feeling cold. I mean, you'd warm up if you, like... I'm sure you would. I don't know. I'll ask them in a minute. I'll see. I'll, I'll see if they would. Uh, if they do come out. I'll ask them. No, I don't condone them swimming uh, in in kind of seas like this. Um, I guess it'd be quite good to know why they would potentially kind of put themselves in a. A bit of an awkward situation. Um, hello, mate. Uh, do you know what? That's a very good question. Uh, I actually don't know right now. Um, I've left the other phone in the car, so I can't check any of the uh, any of the ingredients. But it's, it's windy. It's dying down ever so slightly. Temperature-wise kind of picked up a little bit but it's not as warm as what we've seen yeah yeah 
know, I, I'm just kind of intrigued to find out, like, what makes them want to do this and, and kind of what it feels like to be in there, really. And Well, that was a big one. Ah, there you go. 17 degrees. Is that what it feels like, or is that what the actual temperature is? Ah, that's a big one. Big, big gust then. doing it for sure uh, people not swimming naked and you're thinking what I'm thinking absolutely not no and I have a feeling a very good friend of mine from North Wales is is here and I think I've just spotted him have a feeling I've just set eyes on the target of a very good friend. Let's have a look and see if we can spook him. Hang on. Oh, it is. He can see me. No. Good, mate, you? Yeah? I told you it was. Oh, yeah, mate, yeah. Good. You see the swimmers? Yeah, who's swimmers are out. They are out. Nuts. Yeah, I know. Um, I want to go and have a word with them. Go have a word with them. Yeah, it'd be quite interesting to find out. You're alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm alive. Yeah, it's, it's kind of shaped up a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to have a word with him in a minute. Yeah. Should we go swimming? <laughs> go swimming. Do it. No, don't do it. Stay up, boys. I don't think, given the fact that he asked uh, if Oh, don't make, what are you doing? Don't even, don't even think about it. Why are you even there? I'm sorry, but no. Wow, Christ, that was a big one. Oh my God. Be a big one, is it? No. Well, seems to be the um, conditions for now on Plymouth Hill. I'd say the kind of average uh, for kind of storm around here. They're not the highest as to to what I've seen, or the the, the most dramatic. Um, 
Got the remnants of Storm Francis kind of passing. All well, the storm surge kind of hitting. Uh, coming in from the Atlantic. So I'm going to leave you guys to it. Thanks to everyone who's joined. Um, this is going to be available uh, to rewatch and also to the YouTube channel, which will be uploaded shortly. Uh, Skate South over there, UK Weather Chase. And I will indeed speak to you very soon.